Better, you know. You mean, uh, so we, we, so accreditors whatever, whatever you get from the patients and those experiences, what you achieve, do you share with the healthcare providers? So, so the data collected by surveyors, it's two types. One is quantitative data, so where they would actually uh, rate particular criteria. So that, that's aggregated, but we can know from a, uh, at, the, um, at the service level, at the unit level, sometimes if, if there's, uh, if <coughs> basically we had um, a cut the vision in that way. Um, when it comes to qualitative data and experiences, they will be aggregated and they will be anonymized. Um, so we make sure that, uh, that, that the, the confidentiality and the privacy is, is respected. And also we will ask the, the, the patient uh, if they won't actually be a certain number of things on record. Um, so, so we're like, that's part of the training also with the surveyors. Um, but the other thing is we're very cautious in not making an anecdotal issue uh, to basically taint the overall outcome of a particular uh, particular survey or report, uh, and 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 th that that could be very easy to do, especially when you engage with patients or employees that are that may be distressed because they use surveys as a way to vent and, and so on and so forth. So we do a lot of training with the surveyors to recognize this, but also to collect a lot of data points. So essentially, it's not only relying on one on one particular story. Does, does that answer the question? Yes, yeah. because we have a similar issue, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we we do the same kind of training to our uh, people who are uh, going for this kind of a survey or the data collection. That mm -hmm. it has to be very held very sensitively by to the organization. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure.